project for me is multifaceted. I think what really um, makes me stand out as a leader is that I always saw it as problem solving. So I don't necessarily see the privileged side of leadership. For me, it's more about being focused on a mission and being someone who can enable that mission to be achieved. I think life is about choices. And for me, the choice to take on leadership roles was made with um, a very clear understanding that there would be trade-offs, that you would have this uh, sense of responsibility which goes beyond what um, other team members would have to take on board. I think women are particularly good at this sort of flexibility in an approach to leadership that is focused solely on the goal and not on any kind of self-aggrandizement or anything like that. When I think about where I want to be and where I belong, I definitely feel like I'm an African. When I think about myself, I think it's easy for people to think I'm a global citizen. And in a way I am because I've lived in lots of places and I can live in lots of places. But I'm really passionate about the country I was born in, which is Nigeria. I'm really passionate about affecting change in Africa. And th that passion is informed by all the places I've lived and all the places I've worked and all the experiences I have. The biggest project we've been involved in so far has been the Agena FPSO. This is the largest FPSO in the world. FPSO is, stands for Floating Production Storage and Offtake. That's essentially a very large 330 meter long oil and gas vessel. At the time it came to Ladol, it was the largest vessel of its kind in the world and the most technologically advanced. And a vessel that valuable, that large, had never ever birthed in West Africa before. I think a lot of women, particularly women that are leading men, would have had to overcome challenges similar to those I faced. So there's a wide range from being dismissed and therefore having to find a way to assert yourself that men do not find threatening or offensive. So you can't assert your leadership qualities in a room full of men by raising your voice. And we therefore, as women, have to rely more on our expertise, more on our organizational ability, and ultimately, and I think this has been the, the case for Ladol as an indigenous Nigerian company as well, we have to overcome people's skepticism by achieving excellence. So women are not beneficiaries of efforts at empowerment. Women are actually the drivers of positive change across the world. In other words, Women are essential for countries like Nigeria to reach develop, development levels. They're essential for our education problems to be solved, for climate change to be resolved, for companies to reach the level of profitability we need to reach in order to grow our economy and create jobs. And I tell women this so that they feel empowered, they feel a sense of their own power and how much or the world depends on them being able to contribute to it in order for us to have peace and prosperity in the future.